Hey you skellywags, today we're looking at this, the Abaddon Geists. Did an unboxing video recently with this, along with this bike, which can go with them. It's optional though, and I'll be doing a video of this separately, so look out for that. But today it's all about this fella, and how it's effective in its simplicity and innovation. But is that enough to make it one of the best of 2022 so far? Shut up and sit down. This is the Abaddon Geist of Abaddon Army's second legion. This Abaddon iteration, because of its cyberpunk aesthetic and designs, being one of my most anticipated of the year, 2022. This head sculpt is new to Acid Rain World and Omanga in general. We've not seen before. I do really like this design, very simple. Not only does it look bloody cool, but works well as an army builder. Goes all the way around. Check the top here. A bit weathering. If you do have the head up like that though, it looks a bit strange. So the design is intended for it to be like that. Angled in a way that covers that neck bit. Good movement on this ball. There's a neck part there that attaches to the body. Allows him to move quite well. His neck movement. Got good variety. So let's have a look at this new butterfly joint, which isn't the first time we've seen it. In 118 scale we did see it through acid rain on the kelsey buck but this is done in a different way i think it does actually works work better on this one there is more of a shoulder roll there too really good range of movement goes up about there so not all the way but still good what it is there's a lot of uh, movement there. You can push that back in there, so not so much of a gap between. There is bicep twist, of course. There. It goes up for the elbow bend, which is great. all over here hand goes all the way around and that left and right there's a bit there covering it hindering movement there's everything you need it to he's holding his gun which is the only accessory he comes with there's a magnet I've put there uh, which I'll, sh I'll explain what I've done with that so, as you can see, there is this little plastic bit that comes out there, which in previous figures you could put on the back. Um, but this Abaddon Geist, you can't. But I do like the gun. It works well. See on the back here, the circles, which missed opportunity. They could have done something with that and plug it in, or just put the same kind of mechanism they used for uh, or design they used for the other but you know magnet I've got there doesn't work I'm tempted to put a magnet in the figure if it doesn't do anything there but it kind of fits on the back there but it will just fall out eventually now the right hand um, 
actually goes down and up. In the original or manga ones, I believe all of them did uh, left to right, and that turns all the way around as well. So it's good they've uh, made that amendment and change. Movement up here, the torso, which is nice. You can line it up like that. It does have waist here with gappage. See that? It is connected though. I like how it's not connected to the uh, the leg bar. Separate. If I remember correctly, the original Omanga ones didn't have any uh, waist movement whatsoever. Jean Claude! Ooh, nice spread. Abadong. Thigh twist. And a lovely bend at the knee. We do have a generous boot twist with the down and up that doesn't go up that much, just a tiny bit. And you've got to pivot also. Now I'm doing this articulation last because I want to show you my workaround and it's with the legs going uh, back, which isn't so bad. And forward, which is not that great because of the crotch piece here. It just straight up doesn't really go up that high, which is very disappointing out of the box. So, I kind of discovered a workaround which makes it more dynamic when you're actually going for certain poses. For instance, just moving that, angle it like that way, so it goes up a bit more. You can try and move it, but it'll move it back down, so... But if you angle it, you'll get more, more of a lift. So look, uh, up like that. See, there, which kind of looks a bit odd, straight off these kind of angling. But with the new waist dip, kind of get him to go forward a bit and then put the other leg, angle that. So it goes back further there. So you can get him to go even higher. While still trying to move this kind of forward. So makes up for him uh, um, looking a bit wonky. Then you can move the arms back because so the butterfly joints like that. And immediately he looks, uh, yeah, he looks all right, you see. And on top of that, this figure has a great center of balance. The, the, the feet are just really good to balance on. See, just with a, a small... So it's a small thing. At first I thought, oh god, that's a horrible. I like, can't move his leg up. But then kind of found a more dynamic way of expressing those kinds of um, movements. So here's like a knee, right? Looks a bit odd now, but I'm preparing it. See, I'm angling like that. Have the arms back. Like that. Voila. Boom. See, now, now that he's, because he's in this weird kind of angle, it does give him a bit more of a dynamic look. Because uh, I was really looking forward to these figures, and when I found out the uh, the legs couldn't move up straight up with that crotch piece, I was a bit disappointed. But now I found these workarounds that actually make him look better in the process. Yeah, definitely fun figure to play about with, and the simplicity of it. I mean that this is all you get him this thing and then and his gun but a lot of fun to play about with see those angles even that kick up like that which again is only made possible due to that waste If we can balance, yeah, very easy to balance. 
great center of gravity. Holding his gun is not a problem at all, and he can hold it on his left or his right. His right hand here though does have that kind of uh, cowboy trigger hand, but it still works on the other side too, but you can really get him to look down that sights, or look down the sights if you uh, put more of an effort into it. Hold it with the sands. There you go. There. Both figures in this Abaddon release, a manga release, are the exact same buck, as you can see here, but with different color schemes, which make them look very different. And I like both a lot. I go back and forth between which is my favourite. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I got both. And I really like the helmet on this, the red one too. I thought I'd use the uh, unhelmeted head more, or the, the covered face. But I'm really, really, really loving the designs and look of these as they are here. So, let's now get on to a few comparisons. From left to right, we've got Death Watch Mandalorian, Maritime Camelbot behind, it's Papalotl, Space Wolves Custom, Blood Angels Ranian, Stan Dramatic in front of him, which I'll be doing a video of soon, Steiner from Joy Toy, Bramble, video also coming soon for that, and the Phantom video on the channel right now. So, this is creeping up to the top uh, of 2022 for me. Maybe there already, um, with the vehicles and things like that together and how it moves and the designs I really love. It's right up my alley. I know it's not for everyone, but for me personally, I think it's there. Even without the vehicle, there's something about having a figure just like this that is it that's all you get the figure and the gun and it's one that I've just brought over to the sofa of just a few times to play about with and really hits that spot in terms of enjoyment playability in some ways posing is similar to the way the Republic of Yamato were in that you'll find sometimes the foot will be angled off the ground but you're able to do so because the way the feet are designed they're very solid so they can hold up the weight doing that just like that so you don't have to worry um, even though it's limited you can get around that movement because he's able to balance very well on those feet and you can get those angles you know using the waist and the bloody designs I do like this with that blue and even the way they did the red for uh, Stangematic really works so although uh, acid rain figures have been increasing in price this one um, I suppose due to minimal um, accessories and that is uh, quite cheap on Peer Club at the moment at $35 so it'd be really good for an army builder and that price I think is really good for this figure now if you are looking to get the vehicles too um, you might be better off getting Stangematic which works out cheaper getting him because he comes with the bike um, but if you really like this design and the, this color, then obviously go for this with the bike, but the bike will be a bit pricier, but definitely worth it if you're into this kind of design. The articulation is great as well. But yeah, get both if you like both designs. 
If you could pick up any acid rain this year, this may be the set to do it. These figures coming out, or these figures that are out now, with the bikes, and yeah, they just look, look awesome. So yeah, the bar guest bike will be next. Or I might do one or two videos before then. Followed by the strength of Ved. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll scale you later.